once you have Encore is installed as an available theme, now we're going to go in and edit your library experience. And the library is now an experience. It is incredible what you are now able to choose from. So first off, you want to go into your drop down menu in the bottom lower left hand corner and click library. This will open up the design page for creating and editing your library experience. Now, before we start editing and going into all the incredible pieces of this library, I want to show you what libraries have been limited to before. So this is just an example of a premier theme that is active on a website. And you'll see everything lines up right here. And really what we were able to do would be to have our products listed, then recommended courses, so right here available for purchase, and then offers right here. But we couldn't do very much with this absent custom coding. So now let me take you into Encore and show you how incredible your choices now are. All right, so we are here in the library and as you are looking at the library, you see the header right here. See how it's in its own white area? This means that the header is the site header. So whatever you do in your header option, it will transfer across the different site pages. Now, these other e areas where you see link list and hero and products and the offer storefront and also the ability to add a section, that is unique to this page. And you can tell because the background is just slightly grayed out behind it. So let's start in the stuff that is unique to the library. So first off is a link list. We can now put link lists on the pages in different spots. They don't have to live at the top of the page anymore, which is amazing. So if we click on link list, this is where you will see that there is now a member menu. All right, if we click to edit your link lists and the member menu includes these items that by default, the dashboard, the member directory and announcements. While we're not gonna go into editing those pages right now, I do wanna show you just how to go and get that link list. So when you click edit your link list, it's gonna take you to the navigation menus. And this is the new navigation menus. If you want to deactivate it and go back to the old, just click deactivate. But if you've activated it, you're probably like me and you like this. So our default menu, you'll see it's the main menu and the footer, which is the standard default, and the member menu. So again, you have the ability to add anything that you would like to delete anything that you would like, but this is where the default member menu lives. So let's go back into the library. So here we can change the color. If we would like to change the color of the links, you'll see that that changed it to red, that changed the link color. We can change that we can put in a title. If we wanna show the title, you'll see it says list title. So again, so much functionality that you have available. We have our normal desktop, mobile, animations, background, all of the features that we love about Encore, they all are available, which is phenomenal. It's so much fun. Now, I wanna go back into here, the next piece that by default is here is Hero. So let me just show you what this does. See, I can move Hero above the link list. So in your library, depending on how you are using your library, I personally have been using the free product strategy for many, many years. So all of my lead magnets are housed in a product. This now gives you the ability to provide anything that you want as part of your experience, given that people in your library may have your free product, may have paid products, 
sky is the limit. So this is, um, we will be doing many videos on different ideas and cool stuff that we come up with. Now, let's go down into your products. I think some of you are going to love this. So in the products here, we can change the heading. So if we come right up here where it says my products, you can change this. So if you'd like to say it, um, something like products available for you now, you can put that in there. You can change the heading color. So again, you're staying on brand. The resume course, that is this piece right over in the right hand corner. So if you don't want to show that, you can uncheck it and it goes away. Now we have this border type. There it goes. Okay, so I put, was able to put this box around the products just like that. Now you can change. I find it easier to almost click where, where I'm looking and versus clicking on the left hand side. So right here, it'll say view product. Now I know, okay, I'm right in this section. Now I can kind of scroll down and look at the different product pieces. So here where it says product layout style, if I choose, watch what happens. I now have cards and I can make them equal or not equal. I think most of us are gonna prefer equal height items. I also have the ability to say how many products are available per page, okay? So if you have lots of products, if you built the Netflix model, you can now have 24 products on this page. You can choose to show the product progress for the person will see it right there on the card. You can choose to show the product body. That is if you have descriptions. So see how the cards shrunk. This is the way I think it looks really, really nice in that it's a card. I can click on open the product. Let's get to that wording because right here you can change the wording. So open product now. You can change the background colors to whatever you would like. You can change the width, the style. We could move this to outline. Whatever looks the best for you and the, because it's so easy to edit, you can change it. So I think so many of you are going to just absolutely love the way that you can now display your product in the library. Now, we're going to keep scrolling down and this is very, very cool. When someone's in your library, now they can see what else do, can they purchase. So let's go back to where we can edit and you'll see here on the editing dashboard, it says offer storefront and offer storefront. So Kajabi by default has given you offer collection A, offer collection B. So let's open up one of these. And again, full editing capabilities, okay? I can move, if I wanna move these around, I can move them around. I could put all of the offers above the text, just like that. Again, I have added content. I can put different things in there. Um, again, so much flexibility and opportunity now lie in your library. Your library really is now a working fluid experience, which is incredible. So let's just look at one of these offers. Here we can then choose the offer. So let's see here. We're on my test site, so the things are always interesting. Open in a new tab. I think that's a good idea if they're in their library to let them go out and see the offer page versus having it take over the library window. Here is the part that is amazing. Don't show it if they already own it. So your members, your people that have already purchased products, you're able to provide an experience catered to them. 
amazing, absolutely amazing. We still have the background, desktop, mobile, animations, time reveal. You have full design and editing features, which is just amazing. I love that this is available to us and we can now play with this. Now, the other things that you can do here, you have the ability to add anything else that you would like. So let me just give you an example of what I have added into my library experience. So this is the PBK library. You'll see I've added things. I did the double border. Now everything is nicely arranged in cards um, that would take them right into their product. And yes, I did build the Netflix model. I have many courses that are available. But here, this is for people, again, keeping in mind it's subscribers, for me, they own a product, but I keep all my lead magnets in a free product strategy. So here I'm catering to both people that own everything in my library through PBK membership, but also people that may just have the free product, which is available, they can buy all the time. So Bizzlebox just nicely comes in there. Here I've, I can put in the upcoming event that is going on. I also have the calendar for people to see. So it's your library. You get to do your experience. And I'm going to, sorry, we're scroll. You can add the animation. So you can really provide some fun, make this interesting, put what makes sense for your library experience in your library. Because now we totally can. So what are you going to put in your library? What is it that you want to design for your person's experience? Have fun. Dream big. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. If you have a brilliant idea, totally share it with other people in the comments. Um, I think we're going to have so much fun. And now you really have a way to create an experience, stay on brand, cater to your people and Kajabi has just blown it out of the water with what we can now do in our library.